everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming yet another video on this great summer day. My name's Christine and today we are going to be looking at how I take off all my makeup and um, all the, the nine step Korean skincare routine. Um, so we'll jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Vanilla Co Clean Zero Balm. So, I've used pretty much all of it and it comes with a little spoony thing. So you kind of just scoop some out like so and you just put it on your face. So this is really good. So this basically is what I use to remove all the makeup. So you can see that it's a solid balm but as you rub it in it just melts into pretty much nothing. So I'm just gonna rub it all in. And all the glitter. Ugh. Even it rubs even mascara off, so I don't know. I don't have waterproof mascara. Nothing I have is waterproof. So I just rub, 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 rub. The glitter is like an exfoliant right now. So that came off pretty easy. If you have stronger eye makeup, then you know, focus more on the eyes. I don't really have water in this room or sink, so I'm gonna go do that. I also then follow it up with an April Skin, I think like a charcoal face wash that also helps remove makeup. I'm not gonna show you it because mine's really old and gross, so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. So I've washed my face now, I may or may not have had a shower as well and gotten changed because um, it's just my normal routine to do so when I wash off my makeup. Um, so moving on, I am going to tone my face now. This is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Toner. Um, so it's supposed to help control excessive sebum. For soft skin. So I just get a cotton wipe, pour a little out and then I just go over so just to make sure and wipe off any other remaining traces of makeup. So you can see there's a little bit but those bits are usually from my neck which is what I miss. Cool. And the next thing is the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Lotion. Um, it's to deliver abundant moisture and nourishment. So one of the store clerks recommended this to me for like an oily combination skin. Um, it helps if you have, you know, it's good for just returning the oiliness and if you I'll have some dry bits so it's good for combination skin basically I just work it in and then pat it over my eyelids I try not to rub my eyes much because the skin is delicate and then upward motions on the neck next is the Innisfree Green Tea Seeds Serum so this is just to rehydrate and calm down your skin as well. So I just do one pump and just dot it. And I don't actually go over the eyes for this one. I just rub it in. And then after this, I use a, another Innisfree product. It's the Bija trouble spot essence um, so you just put it on your blemish sites and like honestly I love it this thing is so good I get a lot of pimples as you can see I drink a lot of like if you drink lots of water and eat lots of veggies it's supposed to be better but like I've been on medication on and off for five years now so 
when I am off it, I try and use this to control it. And yeah, it honestly, if you have like a really big pimple that's kind of exposed and you put it on, it's like after a few days, it's just it doesn't exist anymore. So I would recommend getting it if you can. You can buy it off. Uh, and the Innis Free side, there is an Innis Free side or your style G Market. But G Market has really, really expensive shipping. Oh, I also do eye cream, but I've forgotten that, so I'll be right back. I use the Snail Repairing Eye Cream. It's not a huge brand, Secret Key, but I saw it in G Market once, and so I've been using it ever since. And so I just dollop it, put a bit on the bottom, and then rub in the top. And then I got a, I think it's a gimmick, but I got it for Christmas. It's this eye rejuvenation thing. Basically, it just vibrates, if you can hear that. Um, so yeah, I just, under the eye, you kind of just sweep it with the essence. until it kind of dissolves. It does feel a little weird but it's nice. I use Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Cream. So this is just to moisturize at the end. So it's up so I just get dollop. So here I try not to rub over the bits where I've put the trouble spot essence, mainly because I want um, the essence to stay over the spot and not be just rubbed all over my face. Oops, just rubbed it. And then these ones will go over my eye, I just pat it. I go over, this is actually shark fin. My mum gave it to me, please don't hate me. I use it to massage my jaw. Um, I have this jaw problem, I can't remember what it's called. Basically, uh, the joints don't fit very well on one side. I get It gets really tight and then I kind of like chew or open my mouth. This kind of helps. And last but not least, uh, I am doing a sleeping mask today. It's called a whitening capsule sleeping mask and it's from the face shop. So this is just put it on now and you just leave it on overnight. So just put it on. And just rub it everywhere. Don't rub it over your eyes. I don't do that. Just on the skin is fine. So I tend to use different masks and exfoliants um, in all the different weeks. It just really depends. I usually have, I alternate between like masks, like sheet mask and sleeping mask and then exfoliants and carbonated foaming masks. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. It was a craze or like an insta kind of thing a while back. I'm a bit late to jump on the bandwagon, but oh well. So yeah, that's it for my video today. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, give me a thumbs up, um, click the subscribe button, um, check out the other videos that I filmed um, today as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!